Hi everyone, it's James. It is April 16th, 2021. You're looking at my Honda PCX125. Today's the last day to have it. I'm getting rid of it. More specifically, I'm trading it in for a brand new PCX. I've had this bike for about 10 years. I bought this bike brand new and at that time it cost me about 300,000 yen. I had to remove the original audio recording because school children were coming home from school at the time. They were noisy. Anyway, look at my PCX. I have never had any issues with this bike except for the odd flat tire. It's been fantastic. If you ever plan to get a bike, you should consider getting a Honda PCX. I highly recommend these. There are two removable rubber pads. You can wash them. And this is a footrest. And here as well for the passenger. Each side folds in and out. This is where the air filter is kept. Shocks PCX. When I bought this PCX, I requested for a back seat guard. There it is. I had to pay for it. I'm going to the front to show you the controls. To the left are the high beams, the headlamps, up and down, high beam, low beam, horn, signal switch left, signal switch right. Moving to the right is the brake oil gauge. Use only dot four. Moving to the right side of the bike. This is where you check and add engine oil. Right here. Turn this and pull it out. Oh yeah, going back to the handlebar on the right side, you have idling and idling stop. Idling stop allows you to quiet your engine, sort of like pausing it. My hand is on the throttle. This is the starter button. And this button allows you to open your fuel or your back seat. To do anything, you need to insert your key. So you can lock your keyhole here, open shut by using this key. You see the back of the key? That shape, it's sort of worn out. You put it in here and then turn it. It locks it. To start the ignition or open the seat or open the fuel tank, you need to insert the key first. Set the key to the designated position. Here is an example. The key is in the seat and fuel position. Turn it to the left. Off. To lock the steering, this is what you do. Turn the key all the way to the left. See, it's in lock. Okay. Put it back in and turn it right. And the steering moves. Now the key is set to the fuel and seat position. By pressing this button down, opens the seat. Have a look. Ta-da! The battery compartment is there. And there's also a coolant compartment. Removing this screw here will expose the battery. So all you have to do is pull it out and you'll see the battery. As you can see, there's lots of space to put your things. And right here is the coolant compartment. Remove the screw. It's easy to pull out. Just use your fingers. Every now and then, check your coolant. You need coolant to cool your engine. I really can't believe this is the last day to have this bike. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to start the ignition. Turn the key to the ignition position. You should see the needle on the speedometer move. 
Here it is one more time. Like that. This is a city bike. It can go up to 160 kilometers, but don't even think of it. Oh, I almost forgot. This is how you open the fuel tank. Okay, it's in the fuel tank position. Press up, press up, and the door opens. Mine is old, so it's a little hard to open, but it opens like this. It takes regular unleaded. Here in Japan, it's called regira, which means regular unleaded gasoline. Check out my mileage. I have 55,098 kilometers and I have a little bit over half a tank of gasoline left. Oh, by the way, this takes eight liters of gasoline. This is the high beam indicator, standby, signal switch indicator. Okay, let's start it up. Turn the key to the ignition position. Press the starter. Do these two things. Pull in the right brake and press the starter at the same time. And that's it. Check out the turn signals. Left. Okay, to cancel it, just press the button in. Or to turn right, switch it over to the right. And to cancel it, press in. Here's the horn. Here's the front beam, high beam in blue. That means high beam. And then low beam, switching it down. Back on the left side, to get to the air filter, you need to remove this cover. There are some screws that you need to remove. Once you remove the screws, pull out the cover, and then you'll see the old filter. Replace it, and then put everything back. Here is the kickstand which is on the left hand side. Now if you do this while the engine is running, it'll kill the engine, like now. So be careful. Let's go to the front of the bike. As you can see, the headlight is on. Those are halogen light bulbs. I bought this 10 years ago, it's old, but my new bike will have LED lights. For run? No.
that's it for this video guys see you tomorrow bye